I could have chosen any word, and yet the one I chose for this ink drawing is solitude. Well, hello there, I'm Detroit. Welcome, dear viewer, I've missed you. It's been like, what, four days? Dang diggity dang, such a long time. My weapon for today will be a cross fountain pen with cross black ink ammunition. Or maybe I shouldn't talk about weapons, wouldn't that be bad on YouTube? Anyway, let's have a good old fashioned ink show today. I sketched the word with pencil on Bristol paper and I am filling it with ink. The pattern is very reminiscent of the four hands drawing I did a few months ago. If you're interested to see me use four hands on one drawing by myself, click the link at the top of the screen. This pattern is full of swirlies and blobs. I swear I said that for every ink drawing video, but I have no better word for this type of abstract genre. Swirlies. If you have a better name for it, tell me in the comments, I'm very interested. Also, subscribe, naturally. I intentionally made the word a bit cramped and hard to read. I also crossed it three times because it looked nice this way. You see, I'm completely fine if people can't read the word. As I said in the hook before the intro, the word I chose is solitude. Solitude and drawing go hand in hand. Drawing is a very solitary activity by nature. You can't really draw with many people. Like, imagine yourself in a social circle. How many times have you said, hey, let's all go to my place to draw? No, that's never happened. You play games, you watch TV shows, but drawing is not very social. Drawing is more of an introvert thing by nature, even though at the same time it has nothing to do with your social preference. You don't need to be an introvert to draw or anything. I'm not really an introvert, nor am I an extrovert. And yet, drawing is still solitary. It's spending a long time alone without interacting with other people. There is a nuance in English between solitude and loneliness that I like. The difference doesn't exist in French. You can be solitary and not lonely, but you can also be lonely with other people around. They are not mutually exclusive, but different nonetheless. I don't want to go into details because that was two years ago almost, but when I started to get back into drawing, I was a bit lonely. Drawing helped me turn loneliness into solitude, something I've always been fine with. I'm a solitary dude, and even though I love to go out and be extroverted, most of the time I enjoy it when I'm back home alone. A lot of the time, solitude also implies boredom for those on the extrovert side of the scale. Because I'm in the middle of the scale, that's also the case for me. And I hate being bored. I hate it so much, especially considering you have only one life and that there will never be enough time to do everything I want to. Which is why I don't see the reason to be bored, why I want to learn as much as I can and become good at as many things as I can. Drawing, painting, inking, but also making videos are only a portion of these things. I diverge, sorry. I don't like boredom, so I like to fill my schedule with as many fulfilling activities as I can. Think about it and put yourself in my shoes. I work from 9 to 5 every weekday. I write 10 pages of a web novel every week or so. I make ink drawings that are about 2 hours long each and digital drawings 3 hours long or so. I write two scripts for these drawings, then edit a video around them and upload it to YouTube. I also post the drawings on Instagram and spam the whole of Reddit with links to the video. And of course, I still have to do like things humans do, like clean my place, so myself, and buy food, and eat, sleep, rave and repeat. When I decided to make two drawing videos per week instead of one, it was out of boredom. One drawing video still left me with a lot of time. I think I like drawing so much because it helps turn my brain off for a while. Again, when I started the Detroit Variety channel, I was at a low point and I definitely needed to turn it off. Now, on the other hand, my busy schedule is just a recipe for a burnout, so I have precautions in place to avoid that. As much as I like the creative half of my week, I can't make drawing a priority. First of all because it doesn't pay my bills, but also because I have more important things to consider. Work goes before drawing. But also, I will never say no to going out with friends or, or do something fun because I have to finish a drawing. I would much rather have a week without video uploads rather than turn down a date. Dating is a really good case for understanding that. With my hellish schedule, it goes without saying that I can't have a fulfilling relationship. I don't think I explicitly told you in the video about drawing twice a week, but I would definitely go back to one video a week if I have a girlfriend. 
I love you all, but not as much as being in good company. Drawing helped me turn loneliness into solitude, while also at the same time giving me a platform to express my thoughts and my views in this video format. It's also something I really enjoy and want to learn more about, which is what I do constantly. As you can see mostly in my digital painting videos, where I talk more about the artistic process and less about me. Now that loneliness is far gone, I keep drawing a lot out of boredom, basically. It occupies me in the healthiest and most fulfilling way, and I love it. And I know I will not suffer from it in the future, as long as it doesn't become my priority over other things in life, like seeing people, working and dating. That was my expose on the word solitude, what it makes me think of, and why I chose it for this drawing video. Come take a look at my Instagram, at d 3 sd chat with me on Twitter, at d 3 and of course, subscribe. Tell me in the comments how you prefer to deal with boredom, and if maybe you even enjoy it sometimes. I'll see you in a few days. Call your grandma and tell her you love her, it's been a while. Bye!